Hello, hello, what's going on guys? Welcome to another World of Warships Legends video. Like we do, 1.30 p.m. Central every freaking day. <laughs> I am your host today, Phoenix61. Make sure to follow the channel guys. We're doing World of Warships videos a lot. Every day so far. For all of eternity. <laughs> so we did get put into a... What is this? We got 6 on 6 game, so... Um, there's probably a good chance somebody's got, like, you know, the, the, their network settings so that they're not paired with people out of Xbox, outside of Xbox or something, right? Which I think is, like, kind of a silly thing to tick that option, but it is what it is. I mean, sometimes some of these smaller games are, are entertaining, but, like, the frustration there comes with, like, okay, there's less ships, so then, you know, there's, there's less spotting happening, there's less ship variety. Like, you can see we got... They've got f five battleships and one cruiser. So I feel like we are a little bit disadvantaged because we have um, two cruisers and four battleships, you know? And then... So it's just, like, all this little stuff. And then if you're going for, you know, like, things like like damage and XP numbers, you know, if you want those bigger numbers, well, there's that many less ships to be able to shoot at. But on the flip side, there's also that many less ships on your own team to shoot those same enemy ships you know it's kind of like well whatever right so we take a shot at this main and we're in like got really awesome positioning here so if you notice like yeah there's less chance of us getting spotted too um i did send our uh spotter plane out when he took that shot so i actually did a decent job of remembering to send out the spotter plane uh, in this game but it's something that i'm like i'm always terrible at so the way the way i like pick and choose whether to use the spotter plane or the fighter plane is um if um if there's a lot of that consumable like i think like i don't know like my montana or something like it has like six of them right and with the long reload or like the long cooldown for the spotter plane it's like i can't get through them all on that ship but so the, this one has this you know this musashi you get four so i'm like all right i'll i'll use the spotter plane plus we're we're built for range and accuracy here with this ship too so like that little extra like 10 percent shell grouping or whatever it is that gives it that get, that it gives you um like we'll take it right so um but yeah um that's one of my struggles right so so we got so we're right off the bat here we've got a one of their battleships yeah this main is just coming right in right so and i think he's probably thinking he sees our cruiser in there and he's gonna just whoop the cruiser but like even if you go in and get that kill and kill that cruiser, you're still in a spot with, you know, four enemy battleships that can probably shoot you, right? <laughs> like, you know, if I'm looking at the mini-map, three of us, three of us battleships on our on the blue team can, can probably hit him, right? So, um, but I don't know, it's hard to tell what's going on with this cruiser, but he, he might be, like, kind of tucked away behind a little bit of land there, but he's, he does great, and he survives at least this encounter. Um, to try and get that that zone cap, but personally, I feel like he's being a little bit aggressive given the the number of battleships that are in this game. I was kind of annoyed that we didn't get the finishing blow on that main there, and our cruiser was probably also annoyed that we, we didn't finish him off. But Kerr first takes care of him. Our cruiser still got a decent amount of health, so we might be able to get that zone cap, which would be um, nice. But then looking over at the other side of the map, we've got, you know, zone A for looking at the mini map. We've also got our cruiser in there trying to grab those zone caps. I'm just like not, I'm not a huge fan of being a cruiser and trying to aggressively cap zones, especially when there's lots of battleships on the map. And yeah, somebody's flagging the mini map. I guess somebody doesn't like where I'm at. I don't, I don't know. Um, but Anyway, yeah, so, like, because, like, you, you're you such an easy target for battleships a lot of times, you just get, you know, smoked, right? Um, so I kind of, like, you know, I, when I play cruiser, I take the approach where, like, I'm for zone caps, I'm doing it, I, I try to do it a little more organically, like, when it makes sense, like, okay, if it's, if I know it's safe to go in there, you know, it's kind of the approach I try to, try to take, but, because, um, you know, there's nothing more useless in a World of Warships game than a dead ship, right? So, <laughs> just, yeah. So, like, I'd rather be in the background surviving, getting, you know, doing damage over time, doing DPS, 
on whatever I can can take care of, right? But um, and then with there also with there being no destroyers in the game, right? You can't, you know, ideally you're you're focusing on destroyers if you're a cruiser. You can pick them up with radar, sonar, whatever you're using, and then you typically have, you know, the faster reloading guns of a cruiser. Um, and you can you can take out those destroyers, but no destroyers in this game, right? So there's you know a little bit different advantage there. So opposite side of the map, yeah, he got the zone, but now he's dead, right? So and then if if the enemies clean up over there, then they're gonna take back that zone free and clear, super easy, right? So you manned it out, got the zone, but now you're dead, and they're gonna they're gonna take it back at some point, right? So we've got a lone battleship over there who's just, you know, his odds of survival are slim. You know, I can't see what's going on, but I'm looking at the mini-map, and I'm like, we're probably going to lose that one, right? <laughs> so, this ARP Musashi is coming in uh, hard as well. He uh, didn't, I don't, know, I don't know if he was paying attention to what happened to the main, but the same thing's going to happen to him here. We're just going to, our team's going to hyper-focus on him just because he's the closest and the weakest at this point, right? So... We'll continue to pick on him, and yeah, we keep getting um, kind of somewhat lucky with our not being spotted here to the point where I'm like, you know what, it's probably fine, like we're still at full health, we should probably help draw some fire for our teammates. And then yeah, sure enough, our, we lost that battleship over by the A cap. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Free and clear, they are taking that zone crazy, crazy easily, right? So, um, but yeah, we get the Musashi down. And Yamano, so things are looking good at this point because we're, you know, at least on this side of the map, my team seems to be focusing on one ship, and that's the way to do it, right? All right, who's the weakest? Who's being? Who's made mistakes, right? Who's who's overextended? Who's come in too close? Pick on that ship till they're dead, and then you know, pick the next ship, right? Like it's a good strategy. Um, focus on one ship at a time, right? So. Um, I had high hopes for this game. I had high hopes for this game. We are at 124,000 damage already, right? Only you know, maybe halfway through the game. Give or take, you know, whatever. And torpedoes, whoever those were, uh, looked good. Um, probably our cruiser, who is now dead. So yeah, so now we're, <laughs> we're short. Now we're short a cruiser, so now it's three battleships to three battleships and a cruiser on their team, right? And I'm just, like, checking on our guy, seeing what the health situation looks like. I am, like, I have a little bit of regret of not putting myself out there a little bit more in this game to help draw fire. Um, just because, yeah, we're still sitting pretty at full health. And then I think, yeah, so then we lose our, um, you know, our other uh, battleship. So now it's two on three, right? And I'm like, this is still doable at this point. Like, this is, you know, this is still doable. But the problem is, is like, I don't know how much health these enemies have. And my guess would be it's probably a lot because, you know, they, they took out A and there was, you know, that cruiser on our team gave his life away to have the <laughs> zone capped at A for a little bit of time. And then, yeah, so this Kerr first, I think he's waiting on me, right? So I'm like, all right, that makes total sense. Let's try and stick together. Um, and that way, if we get into a situation, you know, hopefully he's got, you know, I'm almost always running Will to rebuild, right? So I have that in the back of my mind, like, okay, if I can get up by him, if we're taking damage and I'm getting low, we'll have Will to rebuild to rely on a little bit. I've still got two health. Um, we still got two planes left too, right? So... This is one of those situations where I'm like, I'm gonna need, I'd almost rather have the fighters if I, cause they'll stay up longer. Cause if these guys, you know, duck and hide behind cover, they're gonna be harder to pick up, right? So, um, so yeah, I give this dude a honk and um, he, I think he realizes, okay, that, you know, I'm coming his way. He, and I, you know, he realizes that I, you know, I realized he was waiting for me probably. So I think that's a smart move um, when you're, you know, the, these these kind of numbers right stick together um, you'll you can be able to pick on one ship at a time right but what's gonna happen is this enemy team and you know like you totally suspect it too like they're they'll probably come through right through the middle into zone B right like that makes total total sense um, and so they're not gonna be you're not gonna get those broadside shots at least not right away because they're gonna be bow in right so and then we get picked up by 
radar, <laughs> which is like unfortunate because the Columbo's using his uh, rolling smoke, so right, that goes a little bit wasted now at this point because that doesn't last very long. Um, but yeah, so I'm like, all right, this is good, right? But what's going to happen is this Columbo takes a hard right, and I think that's the mistake um, that costs us the game here. But like, we still put up a good fight. Um, so yeah, spoiler alert, we lose this one, right? <laughs> so I, I sent my plane out, you know, to, we don't have a shot, but I'm like, maybe we'll pick up, you know, since we're getting radared, we'll probably pick somebody up over there. And sure enough, same exact thing happened. So they dropped their smoke because they were getting picked up by the plane, right? So I know they're coming through there, at least one or two of them, right? I'm not sure where their cruiser is at this point yet, but he's got to be close by because, what is it, a Worcester or something? Like, he's probably the one with the radar. Um, yeah, so just a matter of time, and yeah, that looks like a rolling smoke screen to me, too. <laughs> so I think I think it's a Col another Columbo coming in, and then, yeah, we see, yeah, so it's a Columbo, yeah. So I'm like, ah, he's angled, just kind of awkward. So I aimed a little bit higher, and yeah, we do get two bounces off of him. We do a good chunk. Um, but here, so if you look at the minimap, our Columbo, he's fine right now, but everybody's shooting him, right? So they decide to pick on him. That's the smart thing to do for the enemy team, right? And then this Columbo, I'm like, I get, I'm like, I'd like to shoot this Worcester, but I'm like, oh man, this Columbo's coming in to try and ram me. Like, we gotta try and get rid of him. Um, so I'm hoping my ally is shooting him because he's got a nice broadside shot, but he goes down because he was, I think he was too angled and I think that was the problem. And I also think he should have, you know, we should have stopped here, right? So he does hit us and we get the um, Die Hard medal, which I'm like, hey, oh, like, I'm like, yeah, like we had a good chunk of health and he was getting kind of low, but man, like he does a number to us, right? We're at 24,000 and it's, you know, a Heisen and a Worcester, like, can we survive this? I'm like, probably not very long, so... I try to maintain a decent angle here, and you know, it's awesome because we're up over 200,000 uh, damage now because of that, right? <laughs> I mean, we were at like 150 something before he hit us, like, so it wasn't like that huge of a chunk. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh man. At first, when I survived and saw how much health I had, I was like, this is doable. We can do this. But yeah, these guys are, you know, the Warchester's not giving me enough angle. Right, like we, we're doing good chunky damage to him, but it's just not going to be enough. We're going to burn down, right? <laughs> but I was like, that was still a fun game, right? I think if that uh, if our allied Columbo would have would have stuck with me instead of pressed through, because um, like I didn't want to even turn within that zone, right? Because I'd be broadside to them coming out. But yeah, we had not, what nineteen hundred XP. Um, for being on the losing team, like that's pretty decent, right? Um, I'll go through the commander build that we have on this. Um, I haven't tweaked this too much, so if you've been watching me, um, yeah, this is Takeo Takagi up in the top right, you can see. So the dragon dude is just a commander geist, right? Just for effects. But for the most part, I'm doing um, AP, you know, accuracy shell grouping and, and buffing the AP damage, right? So, because that's for the most part what we're shooting with this ship. Um, yeah, so battleship main battery range and shell grouping, battleship AP shell damage, and battleship gun traverse speed. Sacrifice a little bit of battleship speed, right? But that's not too big of a deal. You're slow as hell anyway. <laughs> main battery dispersion, another 10% there. Damage cooldown, right? So I'm going to go main battery range here, another 3% there, right? So that's kind of how I um, have most of my, you know, sort of higher level AP centric Japanese battleships, right? And then, of course, I'm almost always using World to Rebuild. I think there's, like, a couple of cases I'm not using World to Rebuild on, on battleships. I know a lot of people, like, fight fire with fire, too. So if you're someone that gets sick of being fire spammed, that's a good one. Um, if you don't like, you know, cruisers fire spamming you all the time. Um, but I just try, I try and just manage damage con a little bit better. Um, you guys know me. I'm kind of bad at that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but that is our Musashi video for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching me all the way through. Yeah, please do. Um, if you enjoyed the video, um, drop me a like. I really do appreciate that. And then I definitely appreciate everybody that um, follows and subscribes to the channel. Um, you guys are my true heroes that, um, you know, keep me motivated to keep putting content out there. So, um, yeah, we're doing videos every day for World of Warships. So we'll see you tomorrow.